absolutely perfectly in terms of the fact that he, he runs in as though he would be bowling in a test match. He's just hit a hard length. Some will swing back in, some will go across. Keeps the slip in there. He's just hunting wickets. Very dangerous weapon indeed. Ah, beautifully struck through the offside. What a delightful drive from Shweb Malik. Nothing more than great timing. No force. No funny T20 stuff. This is excellent test quality batting and test quality bo bowling. Visa has demolished the the uh, the boundary cushion. The boundary cushion. <laughs> great Thank you. Shot. Great shot off the uh, inside half of the bat, but he covered any potential swing. David Visa, the uh, the rock and roller has ended up uh, obliterating the boundary cushions. That'll just relieve a bit of pressure from Zalmi. Amazing the difference in the calendars after the last couple of wins. They're just brimming with confidence yeah. at the moment. They Absolutely. looked nowhere Absolutely. three games ago. A couple of games and they have the rhythm, they have the firepower of the crowds. They're all backing Kalandas to do something sensational once again. Shot and one. This is pretty sensational from Shoaib. After being hit in the rib area, he's plundered a couple of balls to the fence won a lovely drive through the offside and then this fantastic cut shot played with a lot of anger and power yeah, just manages to uh, get a bit of width there from Shaheen I think you can pretty much guarantee that the ball won't swing after the first couple of overs so he's expecting everything to go across him and it was uh, early as well Shot, almost a catch. It went through the hands. I'm not too sure whether he saw it early or not. Clearly, that ball has gone and hit the fence in no time. Well, it was a plan. Fakhar Zaman has been positioned in there in a catching position. If anything, he's just a tiny bit too close because it looks as though he barely saw it. It beat him for pace in that uh, unusual position. Dead square on the offside. Yeah, beat him for pace. The hands weren't even up when it went through him. Brilliant. That is a really solid stroke. Malik's been in terrific form. He got a, a slow half century. It was at 80 where he needed to bat slowly because he was losing too many wickets around him. And then the next innings... He Glorious night here in Lahore tonight. That's gone fine, four to the total, and Malik has uh, just got a good presence at the crease at the moment. Great experience, this partnership now has moved up to 31 from 24. Yeah, I just wonder how fit Ralph is, and he's just trying very hard to hit the deck there. But the line, he's got to get that line right, he doesn't want to settle for that line too often, otherwise this outfield is like concrete underneath, they're rolling. From it. Can you prevent the boundary of the last delivery? What a shot! Oh my word! The HBL six counter moves up a notch to 284. Halfway stage, 81 for three. Ben Dunk hits the list, got a 50 when his team needed one. Drive solidly played into the gap, glorious, breathtaking drive, 54.
Shweb Malik as well. Third consecutive 50 for Shweb. Partnership 100 of 67. Zalmi on the move here. 124 for three. <laughs> Good luck. This is putting into the sword. There he goes. And there she goes for six. Brilliant. Samet Patel will be calling, probably taken to the cleaners in this over because both these guys play spin beautifully. Well, if you just need to look at the numbers, chances are that Samet Patel is going to get absolutely pounded this over. Strange decision to bring him on. Another big shot into the gap. Will this be? Feel it, it is. Mars gets to the ball. Only a single, but it, it can get a bit tricky again for Samit Patel. He's having a laugh. He was frowning before he started this over, challenging the, the wisdom of bringing him in. Massive strike rates against spin for uh, both right-handers. Coming back for two. And I think if Samit Patel can somehow get out of this over with just two singles, that is a massive victory for the Kalundas. What a big two balls this is coming up for Samit Patel and for the fate of this game. Last 30 balls, 60 runs scored. How the momentum has switched. There he goes. That's oh nicely God. ball, nice and full, almost Yorker length. Held his nerve. Beautiful bowling by Samit Patel. He's not thrown in the towel. One ball to go. I think everyone on his side is willing him on. Can this be a single? And flip side for Azalmi. Can they really cash in on this over? Oh. That's into the gap. Oh, the last thing they needed was a misfield. Mas Khan was the fielder, Samit Patel, if looks could kill. 139 for three. is roaring here at Gaddafi Stadium and uh, Zalmi are on top. Last ball should have been fielded on the boundary and it went right through. So 15 off that last over. Shawa Zalmi are all set to end this innings on a high. Five overs to go. And that man on your screen, Shoaib Malik, has done brilliantly to work alongside Haider Ali for the seventh 100-run partnership of this HBL PSL 5. Yeah, and I was speaking earlier, Cass, about the old and the new. We've got the experience of Shoaib Malik and we've got Hayter, the youngster, and you think of the value he's getting, having those mid-wicket conversations between overs and getting the support from elderly statesmen. Cool and cool hand sanitizer. We're using a lot of that, aren't we? It's a must. They've been expensive in the last five. Oh, that is a miss. What a miss that is. And this is the partnership. You have to break it now because they've got the momentum, these two batters. And uh, Lahore under serious pressure. Oh, it's been brilliant the way they've been able to turn the innings round after the power play. They've missed a couple of run outs. Here's another one. That was an assisted run out. That was what was on. Get it over the top to the bowler. And he takes the bales off. He had more time than he thought. So there's a little bit of panic out there. It's 
crunch down the ground. There is a fielder out there and he'll take the catch. So a timely breakthrough here for the home side. And it's the experienced Malik who has to make his way off the field. Oh, it's unlucky it was there too, the form that he's been in. You could just hear the clunk when he made contact right off the toe end. Just needed a, an inch high, that would have sailed. Just watch where it hits, right on the tail. And toe end of the bat, and it needed to be taken comfortably. So there's that breakthrough, the partnership of 116 ends. What a 62 it was, 140 for four.